Well, I'm up at some uh, really beautiful kind of remote streams in the middle Tennessee area. Um, this one's kind of out of the way and it is a place, these, all these places get fish and there's people, I might run into some people. There's a lot of public spots, but a lot of these places are kind of, you got to drive and drive. And the stream right here is very low. I uh, didn't know it was going to be like this because on my side of Tennessee, we'd be in floods over here. It looks like it's about dried up. So I'm going to hop around. I got a few hours today. It's good smallmouth fishing area can be if we find the right holes that's what i'm thinking also without too many people around so i'm gonna get a rod and reel rigged up we're gonna probably wade through here maybe drive down the road you know hop around some different spots but i'm excited to check this out haven't been here in, since last summer and um i'm kind of excited to see what i come across Oh, 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 there's a little smallmouth right here. They're chasing around little bait fish. I didn't even see them. They're like, they're right there. The water's not even a foot deep. There's four or five little smallmouth. So that's why I gotta. It's wide and deep. Uh, it's um, shallow, wide and shallow. I'm trying to make some casts way ahead of me. I don't know where a fish would be. Oh, oh here comes a little one. There's one. We got a fish. <clears throat> and it's what we wanted. And he's back in. All right, that's the biggest one, the first one I've seen big enough to eat it. I just getting up to this deeper section, just trying to cast in front of me. And I watched him, I like saw him turn around and just kind of eat it. And I'm gonna grab a three inch Helgramite. This one is a Nico in the Obsidian, a really dark black. I got it, I think this is a 1 10th ounce jig head. It's either 1 15th or 1 10th ounce. So there was three or four in this little bitty channel right here. But just enough to, has a little bit of current and a little bit of depth right there with some rocks where you can hold some fish. I saw him. Oh, nice. This is that pack of, oh, he's a decent fish. There's like three or four of them. I, I've seen him go through a few times. That time, I, I threw right in front of him and he just ate it. That's had a reaction. That's a nice fish. There's, there they are right there. There's two or three more. These are actually solid fish right here. It's hard to tell how big they look from over there. Let's get a close up. Oh, this beauty. There it is. Uh, about a 14 inch smallie. That's the kind of stuff we came for. Sight fished it in about a foot of water. Just ate that Helgramite like it was nothing. Like it was a little bug that fell in and he was ready to eat it. That's what we came for. I have to drive probably an hour to get smallmouth. And then this place is like almost three hours from my house where I get into areas that are like just full of all smallmouth, pretty much these kind of streams. So it was worth the drive to this, get to this guy. All right, there's definitely plenty more in there. All right, there's definitely, if there are fish everywhere, so if I find an area, there's a lot of fish. Let's just keep on moving for now. We may have to walk back through here, I don't know. If we can find like any deeper pools, we know there's fish in there.
Come on. Gotcha. Oh, goodness. The air on that one. No wonder they can shake lures so good. How do they do that? There's another little pack. There's like three or four of them right in front of me. Little pack of them. I watched them eat it. I think everything I've kind of had to watch. I don't know if I'm getting bites from other ones and I'm throwing it in other areas that's like darker. Cause all these, I've, I've seen them eat it. They're healthy though. These are, these guys are not starving in here. They're like, this water is low, but I guess they're so used to it. Solid guy right there. I think it's because this current is here. That's why these fish are here. Why well, I caught that one. I've thrown in some big, calm, deep sections and I haven't even seen a fish. Now there could be fish in there, but they're probably just not budging. Big one, follow it right there, right there. Holy cow, he's trying to get the bait out of his mouth. I got a smallie, and uh, there's four other ones. I mean, three other ones with it, and one of them is a nice one. They were up in the current. I get to the head of this current, and that's where I get bites. All right, let's throw back up in there because those guys look like they might hit. And I'm standing, there's another pretty small mouth. I'm standing far enough off the bank where I'm really not like giving myself away to where they're like, okay, I see what's happening. They just see something fall in. Oh, there they are. Let's see. Let's see how active these fish are then. And oh, oh, oh he might come for it. I got one. <laughs> got him. He had to hit it. He had to hit it. I watched this little fish. He looked at it, looked at it, looked at it. I twitched it and he goes, bam, a little bit bigger. Wish we could get that big one out of there, but there we go. I'm just glad to get to a spot where they're active. I've been walking, not like forever, but well, let's see here. Maybe about an hour and a half total now. Man, I love getting, look at, these are just healthy guys too. I've walked, I walked a lot of shallow areas, but whenever I found a current, I think I've gotten a fish out of every area where I've, I've gotten like some, there's been some current. Oh, there's those other two. Let's see if they want to eat. Where did they go? They kind of swam off. Oh, is that something? I don't know. Oh, look at the snake coming across. We got a snake coming across with something in its mouth. You got a little minnow that's twitching. Oh. It's kind of cool though. Looks like a water snake with a, yeah, he's got a, oh, he's got a darter. That's, oh, I'm really close. That's, oh, he spit it out. Oh, that's it. Look at that, the darter's still alive. The darter survived. <laughs> that means that snake was down on the bottom. So right where I was catching these uh, smallmouth, that's where the, that snake was eaten. Oh, someone's hitting it. That was, the big, that was a good one. That was a good, I saw him eat it. I saw his flash. I had it for a second. He, ne he never got the whole thing in his mouth. So he might not have felt the hook. Is he still there? Dude. I don't know. That was a good one. Man. I should, 
I think he was just test tasting it. I should have, I don't know if he would have spit it out or um, I should have let him like try to eat a little longer. Gotcha. I think got a little one. He hit it. Yeah. Threw back a couple times. Got him. Well, as long as I keep seeing current, it's hard for me to turn back. <laughs> I um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do, if I was going to drive to different spots, if I was just going to get in and fish one area. I thought, like, well, I'll probably fish an area, then, then go to more. But it's like there's just enough little of these deep holes to keep me going, especially we're catching a few. Not just killing it, but I'm catching fish, and I'm seeing some. And then I'm seeing a couple big ones, so I'm like, oh, man, maybe that next hole is where that big one's going to hit. Or maybe that next one, because every little section is different than the section before it. Some are small. Little smaller sections, if they're not too small, I feel like I get more bites. The real big long sections are like, okay, I don't I don't get a lot there. But anywhere where there's current and there's a little bit of a pool to hold, hold some fish, I've been able to at least get some bites out of it. And like back there, I saw one. It, was, it had to be an 18 incher. He didn't. I couldn't get him to bite. And then I had one. It's probably a 15 or 16. Bite really quick and just like it come on. And you know, I never hooked him. He just kind of bite the edge of it. So at any any cast, I feel like I can just hook into a really nice small me small. Any cast, I feel like I can just hook into a really nice small mouth. It's just anywhere. Oh, there's one. I didn't even know who's on. I was drifting it in that current, just letting it drift. Another about 10 incher. That's where I feel like, and I've done it before, where an 18 or 19 or 20 could be in the same place. You just you're just making cast. Don't really know, don't see nothing. Just making cast. Especially with the helicopter, just let it drift in the current. Next thing I know, there's a fish on it. You're like, oh. I had no idea that fish was there, and I'm just making random casts, feels like. Oh, there's a, oh, there's one right there I just spooked off. I don't know where he came from. Did he look at my door? Oh, I got him. There was two or three of them. I don't even know where they were. I just saw them moving, cast it in the current. They turned around, picked it up. This is probably the best one since uh, the first one that I landed. Yeah. Oh. Oh, good. I'd say he's a 12 to 13 inch. Nice. The guy's got a lot of fight to him.
There's some smallies at the back of this pool. I don't think they see me yet. <sighs> Little bitty guy. Hey, dude, there's so many of them. There, there's a ton of them right there. I'm gonna try to throw him downstream because there's some big ones that I see. I walked right up and I'm just looking in the water. And there you go, little buddy. Oh, he got back up. Well, he went right back up the current. Uh, oh, there they are over there. There's a couple big ones. Oh, spook, damn, got a different one. Two casts in a row. There's a couple nice ones there. All right, oh, well, I, man, they got through that pretty easy. Um, that is definitely, you need to be observant, 100%. And, good, this has got a good one. Oh, no, no, it ain't the big one, I think. Oh, I thought he was bigger, but he's nice. Oh, he's in the current, that's why. Three casts in a row, because, oh, I lost that one. That was a good, that was a 14 incher. Three casts in a row, because I, I didn't spook these fish. I walked up, I looked there, they were saw them sitting at the back. And that's what smallmouth will do a lot. I've been making a lot of casts at the back of the pools. Haven't Hasn't paid off yet. This is one, they're sitting there ready to eat. Anything that gets washed down to them, they're just eating. They're like, okay. There was three, there was, there was several. There was, I don't know if there was 10 of them or not, but there was a bunch. I got a little bit he got. Did he even get hooked? How did he get hooked? Man. That's why I was talking earlier about you just know, don't know where a big one's going to come from because that's the truth. You just really don't know. Now, I saw that one. I don't know if he... I'm like... I'm talking big. He was... I think over 16 inches, like a really, be a really nice one, especially for today. But every cast, like a little one, we get to the lure and then he kind of got spooked off. So we're gonna try to walk up real easy up this side, making some casts over there on that bank. Tell me, tell me. Oh, I thought he was a little bit bigger. He's decent. Man, it's been a while since I've really gone for smallmouth like this. This is a good feeling. Oh, he, oh, he's not bad. Yeah, this is a good, good creek bass. another 12 incher i can't believe how uh, healthy these guys have been though sometimes walking and just being going and keeping a uh, like good outlook as far as like oh is that the same fish or a different one but uh but just keeping alert for fish pays off like today i uh, I don't think I've been out here two hours. It, it feels like a little, a little bit of a while, but maybe let's say two hours. I've caught five fish in the last 10 minutes. So you might go, that's why I, I, you never know. And I've done this so many times where I, I'm like, you're about to give up. Even walking, even kayaking, you know, you're like, hey, you're like, ah, I can't find these fish. Where are they at? Like, there's nothing going on. Or maybe you come across, can't get bites. Then all of a sudden you get to an area and you catch as many as you do in the whole day in, uh, you know, in like one pocket or like just one 10, 15 minute span. This should be a fish. Oh, I had a hit. <laughs> I thought there'd be one to hit right there. Must have been little. I never felt it. Never got hooked. All right, the back of the pool. We're getting a bite right here. Boom. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, I got hit again. They are hitting it. I don't know what's hitting it. I can't see the fish. We're working our way back down. And um, I'm probably gonna get out and walk the road because the road's close by. So everything I fish today is not like way out. In the, it's, it's way out, but it's right on the side of the road. So it's not like it's some untapped area. Probably an area that gets fished quite a bit. I got the little Head and Zara puppy and I threw it at the last hole. It had three hits on it. And that was where I saw, or that's where I caught like five fish. I'm gonna throw it up here at this next like two holes where I saw several fish. And then we're um, probably gonna get up on the, get on up out of here. Oh, I didn't even have to move it. That guy hit it as soon as it hit the water. Little guy. <laughs> that's probably about the size I've been getting the uh, few other hits on. I sure hope there's somebody swimming in my hole down here. I just heard something jump in the water down here. Of course, there's somebody in the hole. Uh, Try to get back to there. Somebody swimming there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> right where these guys are swimming, I went right past them. And this guy didn't care. Yeah, boy. Hey, that's the kind of fish we're looking for today. Way to end it off here. Dude, it's nice. Oh, hey, yeah, there we go. Man, he hit right off that log. I remember um, seeing some little fish on that little that log there when I came through earlier. You know, and I uh, there's guys up here swimming, which all this is public. You can swim anywhere, but it's so funny. I was like, this is where I saw the biggest fish. I could have been all aggravated and frustrated and be like, well, there goes my chance. Instead, I catch a nice. I bet he's a 16 incher, healthy, just a really good fish, just down from where they are. They're, they're over here watching me. It's so funny. This guy was down here in the current. They're up there swimming in the deeper hole. And this guy, he didn't even care. It doesn't bother them at all. Man, that's the kind of fish I wanted today. I go down here in the current, make a cast, catch a nice one. What an awesome trip. I may have to make a few more casts, but getting pretty wore down. And I didn't bring any snacks. And being an idiot, I didn't bring any water with me. So kind of ready to get back to my truck. I love driving through the countryside and out and just looking at stuff, old cars and barns and just farms and fields and things. But I, uh, I got out of there and I did fish my way back and never got another bite on top water. And it was kind of funny thinking about it. There's like, there's like a 50 yard section that I probably caught half my fish in my biggest one. And then that, that where I caught like five or six, <laughs> it's, it's kind of, it's kind of funny how all that, but the, everything was current. If it was no current, if there wasn't flowing water, like they weren't biting and like the uh, there's probably fish in those deep pools, but they like that current. Well, I grabbed some old chicken from a gas station. I guess it'll hold me over till I get to where I'm going to uh, get tonight up into Kentucky. Gonna tr try and fish tomorrow for uh, like, just like one day and then I gotta head back. But trying to meet up with some other people. Hopefully that goes well, but uh, I'm glad I had a fun day today. Caught fish, you know, spent half the day. And um, that definitely is a place I'm, I'm need to go back and spend more time there's so many creeks flowing into other creeks and um, there's a lot of area around there that has fish and there's waterfalls and there's you know clear water and just a lot of stuff there so maybe I'll go back one of these days and camp there there was a bunch of people there camping a couple places I wanted to fish there's people swimming 
um, being the 4th of July week, that kind of figures. So I'll go back maybe when school starts and uh, hopefully there won't be as many people there. Thanks for watching.